When you think of a circus elephant, images of them performing under the big top often come to mind. But when they're not working, these elephants take a vacation. When you enter the gates of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Center for Elephant Conservation, you suddenly feel like you're on safari. Asian elephants graze as you drive by. Which one's that over there? This is P.T. Named after Barnum? Yes, yeah, P.T. Barnum. And then who's this over here? This over here would be Sid and Ari. Hey, Sid. You know, you can pack a lunch and you can pack a suitcase, but you can't pack a derm. Get it? No wonder she's ignoring you. The Conservation Center serves many purposes. It's educational, it has a successful breeding program, and it's a retirement residence. These are some pampered pachyderms. Janice Aria started off as a circus performer over 30 years ago. Now she works here with the elephants full time. Janice, tell us about Susan here. Susan is um, a retired showgirl, Cindy. She's 59 years old. Wow. She was 59. featured in the show for years. How long will the average elephant live? They live actually about 45 years. So she's, average. she's a senior above, citizen. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. And she's still a major part of our operation. She helps train some of the young people that are coming in to be elephant trainers, elephant handlers, actually. There are always critics of animals in captivity. And Aria says anyone who thinks these elephants aren't happy or well cared for are misinformed. Oh my gosh, I wish that I could come back as an elephant for Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey. And I wish that I were facing my senior years uh, knowing that I was going to get the care that these, that these old girls get. We should all be so lucky. This state-of-the-art facility is huge and sits on 200 acres. So far, over 20 elephants have been born here. I like it when the birth is fast and quick and easy and I can stand there and say, yeah, that was nice. And, and, and others, sometimes it's a, like in people, it's a longer delivery. Uh, you have uh, more concerns about how quickly they arise and get up and are ready to go, so you take more care of them at that time. This is Sally and her baby girl, Sandara. Sandara weighs thousands of pounds, but she's only one and a half. Official ele elephant snot, right there. <laughs> little slobber. Here. Okay. <laughs> this little guy, Barack, was the first elephant conceived here through artificial insemination. This is this Barack's mom? Yes, this is Bonnie, his mother. And Bonnie doesn't mind us being this no. close? No, Bonnie's, Bonnie's used to people being around. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Can I touch Bonnie? Sure. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, just once again, she'll get you very dirty. Hi, well, that's OK. <laughs> we don't mind the dirt. We're lucky enough to get inside the pen to give Barack and Bonnie some what treats. What's mommy's name? Bonnie. Oh, look Hi, at Barack. Barack. Hi. <laughs> My. Would you like to come home with there us? There you go. Want another piece? There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Barack's going to get fat. Well, wait. Barack is fat. <laughs> Barack's an elephant. Sadly, the Asian elephant is an endangered species. The staff here is dedicated to preserving these beautiful creatures so future generations will be able to enjoy them and learn from them, just as we did. Hope you enjoyed that. We did.